it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining today. We're going to be doing Toddler Belle and I'm going to make her about 36 inches today. Well, not about. I'm going to make her 36 inches. <laughs> so um, we're going to get started. Before we do though, if you are not subscribed yet, please do and I appreciate all that support. All right, let's get back to this thing. Uh, 36 inches. I We've done this one before. What I'm changing this time is these little roses. Um, I'm actually gonna put in rolled flowers just to add a little bit more dimension to the whole to the whole image. Um, and also the other thing is her crown and the little piece in her hair. I think I would want to do that. Um, in a different color so like a more metallic like just to give that gold crown feel so um yeah let's get to it so first thing is this image i got it on etsy there are a ton of images like this one so i would just go into etsy search toddler bell or princess uh, disney princesses and uh look for someone with a lot of stars, good ratings, and see if you have pictures. Uh, I feel like every time I buy one with a Disney character, when I go back to look for it, that person no longer has it. So you know what that's all about. All right, so let's go to height. I'm gonna change it to 36 inches. And okay, there we go. And then I'm going to just reduce this down to 25% so that we're not constantly scrolling up and down. I'm gonna move this over. All right, so. Um, I have a good feeling about this one being at 36 inches that we shouldn't have any problems with seams because if you think about her being 36 inches, um, I kind of in my head just to round things, um, I always think like every section is 10 inches and if it's 10 inches, then I'll fit on my 12 by 12 cardstock. So is Belle, uh, you know, like in four sections, like her head, her uh, upper body, lower body, or like her dress area, and then her legs, that's really four pieces. So if I had this at 40 inches, I should be good. So definitely at 36 inches, I should be fine. So I'm just gonna double check though, like, yep. See, this is nine inches. So the only thing that should be too big would be the black background. So let's do that one first. So we'll ungroup, we'll grab, her whole thing and ungroup it and pretty much all we're gonna do is you're gonna cut this uh, the only thing we need to add are the rolled flowers so I'm gonna go into images and let's look up 3d flowers and we'll have four of them so that'll be really pretty um, ah, <laughs> 3d flowers and nothing, nothing. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, under ownership, I wanna make sure that it's not, okay, perfect. And then I'm just gonna hit enter to search. And this will just give it a little bit something more to the, you know, to the image. So I think any of these spiral looking ones will be very, very easy. The way they work is the center, this middle dot, that's what you roll into. So what I mean by that is if you cut this image, see this one and this one, they're both spirals, you will start from the outside and start rolling it and you're gonna roll it into the middle that middle piece right here is where you're gonna put glue and then you press down and you'll have a beautiful rolled flower. So um, these are all, you know, kind of different shapes. This one will just be like a spiral. Um, you know, these have little bumps, it, totally up to you. I'm gonna go with, <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna go with, uh, I don't think I went with that one. Uh, maybe I did. All right, I'm, you know, I'm gonna click on this one just because it says subscribed and not purchased. I may have purchased that at some point. All right, so this one is subscribed. I'm gonna add it to the canvas. And because we're putting the flower on, I am going to, I'm gonna see how big that center is. And then these will be rolled tightly. 
So I think this is a good size. I'm gonna maybe make it a little bit bigger. You can always roll it super tight. So I'm gonna keep it at this, at let's say four inches. Okay. All right, and I need four of them, right? So I'm just gonna duplicate. There are my four. Um, okay. So let's look at that. That's the hair. Now the hair is, oh, we could just ungroup it and everything ungroups. That would be lovely. Let's see. Oh, the eyes ungrouped from there. Okay. So that's good because then you can make the eyes a different color than the hair, which um, I like. And then this little piece just needs to be separated from here. So what you can do, well, right now, because I'm assuming that everyone wants to use 12 by 12 cardstock. You may even have smaller than 12 by 12, but oh my gosh, what did I do? Let me cancel, sorry. Um, so I'm gonna assume everyone's really using 12 by 12 cardstock. And so with this one, this is bigger than 12 by 12, right? So I'm gonna bring in a shape, I'm gonna bring in a square so that we can slice apart these pieces. This is okay because look, this little piece right here is one piece and then this is another piece. So all of this will look seamless and will cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. We just need to slice it apart. So right now all the brown is together, right? So I'm taking my square, I'm gonna put it over this little piece down here and then I'm gonna grab the two and click slice. So whatever is in this square is being sliced out of this brown image. And so it's, you know, it's just a helpful, helpful tool. And so now this piece is 11 by eight. We can totally cut it, right, with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. We don't need this slice result. And later when we go to the cutting mat, we can just squeeze this in here and this will all cut on one piece of paper. All right, let's see what else we've got here. Uh, those are her eyes. All right, the pink, uh, we've got a jewel, we've got lips, and we can't ungroup anything, so we're gonna need to slice it out. Now, uh, the flowers we don't need at all, right, because we're gonna put rolled flowers in there. So I'm just gonna do this and cover all the flowers, and I'm gonna grab like this. So my square is touching Bell. I've got this right here. But with my mouse, if you notice, I went from here over here. My mouse only picked up the square and the pink items. And I know so because uh, slicing is not grayed out. You can only slice two items at one time. So if you went and you picked up anything but two items where you only picked up one or you picked up three or more, slicing will be grayed out like this. You will not have that option. So that's when you know you've done something wrong. All right. So now I've got this and I've got this, right? I don't need either one of those. I'm gonna grab the two and delete. Now, if you want the lips to be a different color than the jewel, which I would want to, um, I'm gonna do this. And same thing, right? I'm in a lot of traffic, but my mouse is gonna start right here and I'm gonna pick up just these two items and slice. So you can be in a lot of traffic, <laughs> is what I call it, um, but you can still slice as long as your mouse only picks up two items. So now I'm gonna delete that. That way your jewel can be a different color. And make that maybe this color. Okay, and then the lips are a different color. The roses, the flowers are a different color. I think we're good there. Okay, now let's look at this. So this, I'm gonna move over here, and it is all together as well. So I want the crown, I'm gonna take the crown and use the same square, and I'm gonna get the clown out of there, crown, not clown, uh, so that I can change the color. Not only change the color, but I need to slice things apart because this piece is too big and I only have 12 by 12 card stock, so. Let's move this out of the way. So this I'm gonna change to a different yellow, just so that I can separate out the crown. All right, here's the rest of her. Um, let's get the shoes, right? 
the shoes in there, slice it out. Now the green, you know, you can do, um, you could do HTV, you could do, oh no, this is not good. So you see, when I went to go slice this, I wasn't paying attention. So let me undo that. That means that the square, the square extended past, not only was the shoes in the square, but also the dress. So when you, when I sliced that, it sliced part of the dress out too, and you don't want that. So you wanna make sure that when you're slicing, that only the piece you want separated out is in that square. So let's get there, let's see. It's a good mistake to make so that I can show you. <laughs> and now it completely disappeared. Um, I'm gonna give it another second. Okay, let me undo that. I don't know what happened. Okay, here we go. Um, all right, so I'm gonna twist this over like that. Put the shoes down. So only the shoes from the yellow is in here. Grab these two items and slice. The slice results, you can just delete. We don't need that. All right, so these cute little shoes are off on their own. So we've got this left. This is way big. And if you notice now, this would be really, really hard to separate out because it's so close together and it's not an easy shape to duplicate. So there's no way that I can get this skirt to be covered by whatever shape and not touch this top part at all. So when something is so close together like that where you can't slice it, then your other option is to contour. So the concept with contour is however many pieces you wanna break this up into. So I'm gonna say I wanna break this into three sections, okay? I don't even know what three sections, but let's just say three. Then you need that many copies of the image. So here's one copy, I'm gonna duplicate, here's number two and here's number three. And then with each image, we're gonna go and we're gonna click on contour and we're gonna remove what we want to get rid of from this image, knowing that we still have two more copies of it, right? So for instance, I'm gonna click, um, I'm gonna remove this. Okay, so I want just this top part, okay? So I'm gonna click on all these little pieces. All right, so what's left is up here, okay? So I'm gonna click um, exit out of it. So see, now we have just this. This, I mean, I should just remove this, but we can do that later. Technically though, now this is this can fit and cut on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. All right, so we're gonna do the next one. I'm just gonna show you this, um, and you know, like I said, you should slice that out, but uh, I'm not going to right now. <laughs> okay. So the other way that we can do it is we can hide all and it left this section for me. Perfect, that's what I want. So here is this little dress, 10 inches by five inches, good. Now all I have left is I need the bottom of this, right? So let's click contour. And I'm not sure what would be faster, but I'm gonna click hide all and I'm gonna start selecting what I want back in the image because I hid everything and it left me that middle skirt, which I don't need, but I'm gonna click everything that I want, and then I don't want this one, right? So now I have just my bottom. Okay, now this one is 13 inches wide by six inches. I think if I rotated this like that, let's see if it would fit. So now I've gotten it to be 12 inches. Okay, this is a little bit better. So technically, this fits on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock that I can cut. You could go and you could make a duplicate copy of this and contour half the skirt, and then you could put, you know, it'll just be, 
it'll just give you more options to add the shoes and like whatever else to cut if you want it to be really efficient on your cutting mat. All right, but all of that is done, right? Uh, let's look at the, you can get rid of, I mean, not get rid of, slice this up so that all the green can be bunched up more efficiently so that you can cut it, but you kind of get the idea, right? But technically this can cut the way it is now, but it would be really wasteful because <laughs> you've got all this stuff in the middle. All right, let's look at her face is good. All right, so all the skin is out here. Okay, I'm gonna move this black over. I think we're, yep, everything is good. So the only thing that's left that's really big is this 36 inch bell. So I have an SVG called the grid of squares. This is a set of three, a set of three, a set of three by three or, and four by four. You get both. If you buy it, you can go to my website and buy it. Uh, theuselesscrafter.com or you can sign up for uh, to be on my mailing list and you can get it for free. Uh, I've yet to send out my first mailing so <laughs> you can kind of see what kind of person I am. I will not be sending out. Uh, I don't know. It'll be a big deal when I send out my first one. Uh, but if you want neither of those, you can also build your grid of squares, which I've shown many, many times in older videos. But if you go and get the grid of squares, then it becomes, when you upload it into Design Space, it will now sit in the Design Space library as just another image that you've um, uploaded. So I'm gonna type in squares, because I think that's what I named mine, and I'm gonna go to Ownership, and I want just uploaded. So my grid of squares should come in. Now what's nice about having it here is like I said, anytime that you need to slice something, you know that your grid of squares are completely flushed with each other. So it's kind of nice and fast. So here's the three and here's the four. So with the three by three, um, that's basically 33 inches by 33 inches. So that's a pretty big project. And then you have the four by four, which is 44 by 44. Okay, first thing that you do when you bring this in is just drop it in and then go to your position feature and round to the nearest whole number. So 3.7, I'm gonna round up to four, 4.9, I'm gonna round up to five. The reason why you wanna do that is because um, if you uh, make any mistakes or you wanna alter this, it's easy to make sure to get back any square back into this grid and line, uh, lined up. So, all right, um, I forgot this is 36 inches, but it's okay. Um, so it's gonna go past the grid, but we're still really good. I'm gonna go to arrange and send to the front so that I can see where we're gonna slice her up. So for instance, oh man, there's really no, so she's 16 inches. So I would probably slice her up right down the middle. So, you know, the seams are gonna be covered up mostly by all of this stuff. And then we're gonna have little seams here and there. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit because I don't want that seam on her face. I'd rather have it like in the neck area or something because her face is just so cute and I don't want it to be distracting. All right, everything kind of fits on here, right? So let's click on the grid of squares and we gotta ungroup it. And we don't need these three squares over here, right? So we can just uh, delete them. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can do, but I don't think so. I think her being 36 inches, she's going to be in seven pieces. All right, so we're going to slice one square at a time. And we're just going to go around her body and slice it up. And then I'll show you what that looks like. So now I'm going to, oops go here, slice one square with the image at a time. And then I'm just gonna move the pieces that we've sliced. I'm, oops, what's going on here? There we go. And I'm gonna keep it in its place just so that it's easy for us later when we go to put this together, it's easy to know where the pieces go. <laughs> I'm really bad at this, so I need to do that. Uh, what is going on here? Why is it doing that? 
I'm going to delete out all this. Ah, I accidentally deleted the image. Okay. Uh, let's slice out this right here. Slice out this square. And then once we slice out this middle piece, the the feet down here will be by itself by default, right? So let me get this piece right here. Okay. So now each one of these pieces we can cut uh, with our 12 by 12 cardstock. And that's all there is. So I will see you when you are ready to put this together. Um, the only thing different that I may do is I might go back and look at this and use my 12 by 24 cardstock instead, which would just mean that I would have less pieces. Um, but I wanted to show you this option here because the other bell that I did just earlier today that um, I recorded the design space, I did the 12 by 24. So I wanted to show you the 12 by 12. All right, I will see you guys next time. I can't wait. Bye.